Day two of Rally Portugal, and it's all going to kick off today. The longest day of the rally and the longest stage of the rally. Two runs through Amarante at 38 kilometers. Now, yesterday the talk of the town was all about tyres, wasn't it, and tyre management. Well, it's the same today. Now, it might look absolutely stunning down here, but up in the stages there's moisture in the air, there's a bit of damp on the surface of the road as well. So there's no question the tyre to be on is the soft compound. But remember, there's only eight soft compound tyres available to the drivers across the weekend. So tyre management really is an important part of this weekend's rally. Thierry Neuville, though, he's rallying smart today. Remember, he retired yesterday, so he knows he's not going to get a strong finish this weekend. So he's going out on hard compound tyres on all four corners of the car. He knows today is going to be sacrificed, but he's saving a fresh set of soft tyres for tomorrow's power stage. So we can expect an all-out attack from Thierry Neuville tomorrow. For everybody else, though, they're on the soft compound tyres, and it's game on. Here is the best of day two. Damp in the air and some moisture settling on the surface of the road as today's action kicked off. And as expected, Thierry Neuville running those hard compound tyres, unable to mount any sort of competitive challenge, instead cleaning the line for the cars to follow. While M Sports' Gus Greensmith was attacking the stages and opening the day with the fifth fastest time, it was not the same story for his teammate Adrian Formo. He suffered a sticking wide open throttle. He managed to cure the problem by putting the car in road mode, but it cost him the Frenchman nearly a minute off the pace. Sebastian Ogier still not completely happy with the way his Toyota was working out on the stages with this spin on stage 10. The back of the car just rotating into that left hander, tricky conditions this morning. He returned to midday service, fifth overall, just half a second behind Takamoto Katsuta. It was a good morning for Danny Sordo. Three stages and three third place finishes. Unable to mount a challenge on Elvin Evans ahead of him, Danny weary of looking after the tyres after his day one troubles. Elvin Evans finished all three stages of this morning's loop second fastest and returned to service still in the runner-up spot and 19.2 seconds off the lead. The Welshman doing all he could with what he had underneath him and ready to mount a challenge this afternoon. But nobody could touch the might of Hyundai's Oit Tanak. Poetry in motion as the Estonian won all three stages of the morning loop and extended his rally lead over Evans and Sordo. Here's Hyundai i20 doing everything he wanted it to, absolutely hooked up and able to push when he needed to and look after the tyres when he didn't. Uh, definitely more than yesterday at the same time, so... Uh... Yeah, the first loop has been quite okay and tried to be very, very smooth on this one uh, to keep the tyres alive and uh, yeah, so far the feeling is okay. The majority of crews running a mixture of soft and hard tyres in the afternoon and it was Elvin Evans who made it work best early on, taking a win on stage 12 by just six tenths of a second from Oit Tanak. The Estonian responded on stage 13, setting the pace, while Evans only managed fourth fastest, Tanak's lead now up to 22.4 seconds. Further back, Gus Greensmith, who had been having a fantastic drive here in Portugal, suffered throttle dropout issues and the Brit limped through the afternoon in road mode. Worse though for Kalirov and Pera, he retired on the road section before stage 14 with technical issues on his Toyota. The battle raging meanwhile between teammates Sebastian Auger and Takamoto Katsuta. The pair trading positions all day. When they returned to service, it was advantage Auger. And drama, as always in the WRC, right at the final hour. Yesterday it was Neuville, today it was Tanak's turn. Rear right suspension failure on the penultimate stage of the day. The rally lead and any chances of victory gone. Which meant after the final Porto Super Special, Elvin Evans is our new rally leader, just 10.7 seconds clear of Danny Sordo, with Sebastian Auger up to third and Takamoto Katsuta up to a career best fourth. Well, what a second day it has been here in Portugal. I'm joined by our rally leader, Elvin Evans. Listen, Elvin, it's been a strange old day out there, hasn't it? And um, conditions difficult this morning. You haven't, by your own admission, been completely happy with what's underneath you, but you find yourself here 10.7 seconds clear of anybody else. Yeah, it's been good from, from that side. Obviously, there's been some, some strong stages, but some where perhaps we, we weren't fully at home and really lost out to Oik, to be honest. Um, but unfortunately, obviously, he's made a, a small mistake in the last one and... Uh, 
and yeah, obviously we find ourselves now in this position. So um, yeah, it's, it's all on for tomorrow. It's all part of rally and look, five stages to run tomorrow, including the legendary Fafé and to win a rally Portugal as well is a pretty special thing. I don't want to jinx it, but it's on. Yeah, I mean, we have to keep trying, but obviously it's a uh, not so long, but, but quite difficult loop tomorrow. Uh, you know, there's plenty going on in them short stages, so uh, yeah, it's all to play for. Lots and lots to look forward to tomorrow. As I said, five stages to run. Now, Sebastian Auger has got a complete set of soft tyres to play with, and those are the tyres to be on for tomorrow's stages. So he'll be going all out for a power stage. What's going to happen? I don't know, but we'll bring you the very best of the action. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.